Hello and welcome to Logic ERP. This video will help you to understand the process of setting up a new account and modifying an old account in Logic ERP. In the main menu, click on Setup, Setup Account, then Setup New Account. Let us begin with setting up a customer account. Type the name of customer in the account name column. In the print name column, type the name that you want to display on the bill print. You can leave this column blank if the print name and account name are same. Now in the account type column, press spacebar. A search window will open. Select the appropriate account type. Since we are creating a customer account, so we will select customer here. As soon as we select the account type, the suitable balance sheet groups are automatically picked by the software. In some cases, a party can be a supplier as well as a customer. For those cases, you can use the option of show in supplier list. Other groups option enables you to allocate the account into different categories. We will learn about setting up account groups in other video. But in case the account groups have already been set up, you can assign them from here. The software also allows you to add image of the account. Click on new image, large image and browse it from your system. Click on the image and save it. Click on other details to enter the contact details and address. You can set default country, state and city for the customer. Click on the column and select the appropriate options from the drop-down list. All the states and cities are available to be selected. Apart from this, there are columns available for entering the first address and second address manually. Start typing the address into the appropriate fields. If the second address is same as first address, you can click on copy or leave it blank. Other than that, you can also enter website, Aadhaar number, telephone, mobile number, etc. While setting up new account, it is mandatory to define sale nature. Before that, we have to decide the GST registration type of the party. If it is unregistered, then the sale nature will be B2C. If the party is registered under GST, then the sale nature will either be local B2B or interstate B2B, depending on the state. So, if the party is registered under GST, we will have to enter its GST number. Also define the GST state. GST state code has been automatically picked. Let us suppose that you and your customer are in different states. In that case, the sale nature will be interstate B2B. If the customer is within your state, then it will be local B2B. 
Logic ERP has an amazing option of viewing the GST number details online. Click on Retrieve from GSTN to view the GST details of the party. You can also set a default tax region for the party. The software also allows you to choose any column as required or not required. Right click on the column to open this. If you set a column as required, then you will not be allowed to save the account without entering the details in it. You can also enter bank details of the party in other details. Apart from this, there are various locks. Tick the option that you want to lock for the party. Also, there are options to allow or disallow cash discount. Then there is an option of stop billing. When you tick this option, the customer will not show in the sale bill window. You can also enter the payment terms for your customer. This means that if the customer clears the payment within 30 days, he will receive a discount of 2%. If he takes more than 30 days to clear the payment, then an interest of 2% will be charged up to 60 days and 4% up to 120 days and so on. There are columns available for entering food license number, drug license numbers and their expiry dates. You can also enter credit limit and bill limit for your customer. This means that ledger balance of the customer at any time cannot be more than 2 lakh rupees and bill amount cannot be more than 1 lakh rupees. Close the other details window and click on save to save the account. Now let us also see how can we modify the existing accounts. Simply type the name of the account in the filter tree on the top right of the window and press enter. Click on the account name. Now you can make desired changes in the account. You can change the name or anything in other details. Let us change mobile number for an instance. After making the required changes, click on save. Another way to search an existing account is through account type. You can also manage the columns in other details window. Press F5 to open the configuration and click on column locks. Tick the column that you want to lock. For an example, we will mark drug license number 1 and 2 and save it. Now in the other details window, we can see that columns of drug license number 1 and 2 have been locked. So. You can lock the columns that you do not require. We have seen that balance sheet groups are automatically picked when we select the account type. Press F3 to change the default balance sheet groups linked with account types. You can select the desired group from the search list here.
Let us see how to create a bank account as well. Type the name of the bank and select account type as bank. Balance sheet groups have been automatically picked. Click on other details to enter other details such as address of the bank, account number, IFSC code, etc. Close the other details window and save it. Similarly, you can create any type of account in this window. Simply type the name and select the appropriate account type. Balance sheet groups will be automatically picked. Enter other details as per your requirement. Now let us learn to create some GST accounts as well. First of all, let us create a GST purchase account. Select account type as purchase. If you want to categorize your stock according to GST percentage, then use this option of stock category and allocate the account into the appropriate percentage. Then, define the GST percent. Select the appropriate GST type. Taxable will be selected here. In case it is a tax-free account, choose tax-free here. Now, we will create a GST sale account. Select account type as sale. Rest everything is similar to the GST purchase account. We will now set up an input account. Select account type as current liabilities. Tick yes in front of sale tax account and define the default tax percentage. Select the GST type as per the account name. Since we are creating an input account, select input here. Select the ITC eligibility as per your requirement. Similarly, we will create an output account. Select account type as current liabilities. Rest everything is similar to that of input account. Just be careful to select output here. Similarly, you can create input and output accounts for SGST and IGST also. Thank you for watching this video. For more software related updates, kindly subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell icon.